So go to MySolarBackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hi folks, this is Alex Jones and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions are provided making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. A very wealthy U.S. citizen is predicting that in 2011, we will witness the most important day in America in more than 50 years. He says it will change everything about our lives. The way you shop, travel, invest, educate your children, and even how you take care of your health and your own family. Now, this man has made some outrageous predictions over the years. The crazy part is, he's usually right. You see, he predicted the collapse of GM, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner, General Growth Properties. In fact, Barron's called his work a dire prophecy. Recently, he created a video, which you can watch online for free, detailing his biggest and most important prediction yet, and it's a real eye-opener. I can't stress this enough. You should at least watch this free video online today. He explains everything you need to know, including simple steps you can take to protect yourself. You can find the video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica, the number three, dot com. Watch the free video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica3.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We are back live. Thank you for joining us. Uh, the headline up on the Drudge Report has the scary photo of the scary freak. And then when you link through on the article... It is the Washington Post that's now gotten uh, through the emails and letters and correspondence of his classmates. He was an atheist. He loved abortion. He loved communism. But now conservatives and libertarians and people that want to audit the Federal Reserve, we get to get blamed. Uh, in fact, here's a Raw Story article. They are flooding out of NPR, Raw Story, MSNBC so fast it's making my head spin. Uh, uh, Fox News is blaming conspiracy theories, though. Uh, the left is blaming Sarah Palin and Fox News. Uh, but, but, but Fox News uh, isn't pointing out that the guy likes the Communist Manifesto. They're busy blaming conspiracy theorists. See, if you don't hear it from Fox News, it doesn't exist. I mean, I can hold up a government press release saying, okay, one part per million fluoride in your water is hurting you. They've now changed their story because the facts are in and they know it. And so they're just calling us a conspiracy theorist over at Fox. Here's another one. Flashback. Conservatives mocked DHS report warning of anti-government violence. No, we didn't mock it when law enforcement gave it to me. We broke it almost two years ago in late January of 2010. We didn't mock it or almost a year ago. Uh, no, over a year ago. I need to be technical there. 
No, that was in early 2010. I forget now. The point is it was over a year ago then. The point is I got the MIAC and Homeland Security reports here and from law enforcement, and it said Ron Paul stickers on your car. I mean, Charlotte Iserby, former head of, of uh, Department of Education Policy, took this off her car, this Ron Paul license plate because she was afraid. That's a political chilling effect. That's what the 9,000 telescreens going in malls and Walmarts telling you to spy on other patrons for Homeland Security is about. What's your take on that, uh, Jim Mars? <laughs> well, uh, first off, when I first moved out here to the country about 30 years ago, and I'd go into the little town, uh, we'd make about six stops. We'd go to the grocery store and the clothing store and the feed store and the farm and ranch store and the pharmacy, you know, and now they're all gone. All of those are gone. The mom and pop shops are all gone. We just have to go to Walmart. So I have more than my uh, share of experience at Walmart, and I want to tell you the thought is that some of those people, that I have seen at Walmart are now being urged to look around and report me if I look funny or say something funny just horrifies me. Well, you do have a beard. You may be with Al Qaeda. I, I, yeah, that's right. That's right. I, you know, you never know. And, and isn't that funny? This this guy, uh, uh, Jared Lee Laughlin, and isn't that funny that the uh, the bad guys always have three names: Mark, David Chapman, Lee Harvey Oswald. Jared Lee lost, and I don't know, you know, and yet, uh, but anyway, he's uh, he's an atheist, he's pro-abortion, uh, and he's uh, you know uh, pro-communist. You know, obviously, he must be some kind of uh, uh, conspiracy theorist, right? I mean, where do they get this? How do they make these connections? Well, There's a conspiracy theorist is anybody who doubts anything the government says. Like when they say unemployment's 9.6, every economist I have on says over 22%. 60 Minutes did their own study and said 23%. I guess 60 Minutes are conspiracy theorists now. Well, uh, wait, wait. The, the greatest conspiracy theory I ever heard, and it's the worst one, is that 19 Muslim hijackers can, can simultaneously hijack four different airlines at different times, yet turn off their transponders all at the same time and then unerringly guide them into prominent buildings after the subduing the plane after subduing yeah. the plane yeah. after subduing the plane and all under the control of a muslim cleric using a laptop computer in a cave in afghanistan now that in the screwiest conspiracy theory i ever heard of but hey that's what we're expected to believe it's incredible. Let me tell you something. All this fluff that's going on, this is just divide and conquer. This is just keep us stewed around so we don't pay attention to the collapsing economy or the fact that we're not even winning in our occupations of Iraq and Afghanistan and that our kids are just being totally uh, turned into dumbed-down zombies. You know, it's, all, it's just... It's just pablum for the zombies is all in the world this is. And there's nobody that seems to be thinking we're all just being, uh, you know, pushed from pillar to post in reaction. We're just reacting to this, reacting to that. Why don't we all just get together and decide that we're all American and that we'll agree to disagree, but we won't do it disagreeably. And we'll, uh, and we'll just do what's necessary to go back and return to the the uh, Constitution, the Bill of Rights, that made this country the great country that it is, and we'll all just get together, you know, like we pull together, like we did. Absolutely. Jim, I want you to get into your research on the missile. Recap what happened for those that forget and the new information that you've put together. Oh, well, this is really something. See, th again, this is we're being distracted. And what we're being distracted from, the very real possibility that we're already in a shooting war with China. And it's funny, since you said that, Chinese generals are saying they're getting ready for war, they're, they're moving away from the dollar, there's all these bizarre warlike statements coming out, they're our biggest debt owner. I mean, absolutely. I mean, let's get into it. Okay, all right. China now feels like they are in a war with us, and up until, until recently it's been an economic war. They hold most of our debt, okay? And what are we doing? We're printing more and more money. We're letting the Federal Reserve System, which is private banks, print more worthless money to cover the losses of the mortgage and, and uh, banking collapse. And as they print more money, that makes our debts worth 
and less and less and less, and China feels like this is an attack. Uh, in the late August, we uh, did naval exercises in the South China Sea, and we were firing off missiles and cruising things around, and we were kind of like flexing our military muscles, all right, showing China, you know, you better keep accepting our money uh, because we are the world's greatest military empire. Well, on November the 8th, apparently, China slipped a submarine within 30 miles of Los Angeles and fired off one of their... Uh, new type missiles that set off an EMP pulse, all right? And uh, according to the Russians, uh, and as reported by CNN, they said this was a test to see if their uh, electromagnetic pulse weapon would work and would be effective in that locality and to see what the response time would be of the U.S. military. And that was even on CNN, wow. Yeah, now. What happened on November, the, and this was a, uh, this missile was about uh, 6, p, uh, 6 p.m. on Monday, November the 8th. What happened on Mo, no, also on Monday, November the 8th? The giant modern cruise ship Carnival Splendor went dead in the water. All the engines quit, all their power went off, and they couldn't get it back on. Apparently, victims of the M people. And how long did it take for the carrier Ronald Reagan and, uh, and the rest of the rescue operations to get out to him? Eleven hours. Eleven hours. That means a Chinese submarine can slip up to our coast, fire off a missile, put MERV warheads in it, drop nukes on about 20 different cities, and then they got 11 hours <laughs> to escape. It's absolutely incredible. And then, uh, just to show that apparently this is still ongoing, is that, as you may or may not know, on January the 2nd, people down at Padre Island said they saw a missile go off down there. And our military down there at the naval base and stuff said, no, we didn't fire anything off. And so what? Did they fire another missile? What happened down there? Uh, everybody check, see if there was any reports of power outages down around Padre Island. But going Island. back to this cruise ship, I looked at the Times as well. Right at the same time, that's when that cruise ship lost all its power. Right, and there are, and it's, it's still in dry dock because they still hadn't figured out what caused everything to shut down. And then they spun it in the media and said, oh, it really That's wasn't a missile, part. it was a contrail, despite the fact that former head rocket engineers at NASA, former Joint Chiefs of Staff members, they all came out and said it was a Polaris-type submarine launch missile. Exactly. Exactly. And Brigadier General Jim Cash, who is a former NORAD commander, says, in my opinion, there's no doubt that what was captured on video was a missile launch. So, look, this is, this is our media. We're, we're almost in a war, and they're, and, this, and they're telling us it's a contrail. This, this would be like... Oh, uh, but you and the general are conspiracy theorists. Stay there. Let's do a few more minutes. The show's almost over, but I want to have you finish up on that point, Jim Mars, our guest. Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be all I can get. In the battle for freedom and the lives of your loved ones, food is your only ammunition. How much do you want? When do you want it? Now or after the battle starts? When will you need it? Can you buy it without proper identification? Will there be any food? Will it make your children sick? If there's a quarantine and you can't feed yourself, will you go to the gathering center and be immunized? You wipe out all these problems if you have a good food supply. Food is your ammunition to fight for your freedom and your life. How much will you need? We don't know. How much do you want? All you can get. I'm Alex Jones. I want all of you good guys to live to fight another day. Call 1-800-409-5633 or check it out on the web at eFoodsDirect.com. Again, that number, 1-800-409-5633. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. 
Remember, the government doesn't own...